Uh, and a moment ago, Spencer with a happy head coach uh, off to his first 3-0 and start since taking over at BYU, Kalani Sataki. All right, Coach, uh, you've had a few minutes to process this win, third in a row to open the season, first 3-0 and start for BYU in six years. How would you rate the overall performance of your team tonight? Really good. I mean, I, you can't complain when you win the game, right? But um, I keep reminding everyone that La Tech's a good team. Won 10 games last year and beat Miami in the bowl game. So um, you have to give them a lot of credit. I don't think we're just expecting to come in here and mop them out. Um, but the guys have responded the right way, and we faced some adversity early. Um, but the guys kept believing in each other and kept focusing on doing the fundamental stuff right, and, and uh, we were able to capitalize on it and win. You challenged your defense when Louisiana Tech scored on that 66-yard screen pass. What did you say to them to get them back in the right mind for the rest of the game? Well, part of it was we were getting kind of we were getting kind of um, trying to be aggressive. You know, we're trying to. Uh, and we did that in the Troy game, trying to get after the quarterback and trying to do some disguising. And it, it put us in a bad angle for our, uh, to chase down the screens. I thought LaTeX made a great play, and, and that, that, guy, that kid can run. Oh, my goodness. He made so many people miss. And I, so I was disappointed at some of the angles that we took, um, leveraging the ball and tackling. That, that, that's stuff that we were so much better than that at. And I felt like we kind of lost a, a little bit of our, our edge when – when uh, we kind of panicked a little bit when he got into some space, you know, and so I uh, didn't like that we gave up that one play, but I, I liked the way the team responded afterwards and we were able to settle down and, you know, we felt like we didn't have to do too much defensively as long as we play fundamental football, tackle well, um, get after the quarterback, and we knew that we would have to rely on a three-man rush to create some havoc, and uh, luckily we were able to do that stuff, you know. We, we, we have ability to do a lot of different things on defense, but um, we felt like we our offense was starting to click and defense was doing well, and so we, we stuck with our, our game plan and, and, and focused on tackling well, playing up front stout and physical, and, and can't complain about the result. Coach, you mentioned the three-man front on the defensive side. Why the uptick in pressure on the quarterback this year compared to previous years? Uh, I'd have to say the guys are a little bit older, and they understand the game a little bit more, but also, uh, you know, Batty was on a mission last year during that time, so he, he you know, he he wasn't ready to, he, or he just got back from his mission, and so we have guys that that uh, are a year older, a little bit more experienced, and um, it shows a little bit, right? So uh, I think that uh, you know, Coach Tuyaki is a great coach. He knows how to get that D line ready, and we knew that we were going into it. We're going to have to rely on them to to beat some double teams and and to be stout up front, and that's what we required them to do this week. You know, who knows what's going to happen next week? Maybe we'll do the same thing. Maybe we won't. But I'd like to keep them scoreless and as much as possible and, and uh, keep getting the ball back to our, our offense because they're a machine right now. What was preparation like this week, knowing you only had six days to get ready for the next opponent and not almost three weeks? That's all right. Let's keep doing it. I mean, we, we had to wait 19 days to play a game, so now we got to play two games in seven-day window. I like that. Let's just keep rolling. These guys want to play ball. Um, we had guys that were banged up a little bit, guys like Joe Tukwaf who filled in. And so I was really happy with some of the – you know, we tested our depth a little bit and just happy that our guys rallied around each other and, and made things happen. So really happy with the performance. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up Joe Tukuafu, who had to fill in for James Empey. Um, what's, what is it like when you when you know you're not going to have a veteran leader like James Empey uh, uh, leading your, your offensive line? Well, we knew that it would be a game-time decision for James. We just didn't know um, how long, you know, if he would be ready. And... And I think the, the you know looking at our our sports medicine department and our trainers and our coaches, you know, the right thing to do was to hold him out this game. And it's just so different because we're so used to him playing every game, and um, it's a good sign when you when you don't see the the huge drop off from from him to Joe. And so Joe did some great things, man. He made some really big time plays, and, and uh, really happy for him. And he's worked really hard to get to this point. So I'm really really proud of the things that he was able to do on the field. Coach, walk us through the mentality and I guess just take us inside what's happening and going so well for your quarterback, Zach Wilson, and the BYU offense right now. He's more mature, but the work ethic has always been there, you know, and healthy. And so I think he's feeling a lot more comfortable in his role now. He's a, he's a leader for us. Um, but but it's not just him. You look at the – everyone's kind of growing up, you know, and you mentioned about the pass rush compared to last year. Yeah, everyone's growing up. They're a year older now. and and more comfortable with the game, more experience, that helps out, you know. And um, even, even in games where the, where the stands are empty, we can rely on those guys to get to do their job and, 
it's because they have hard work ethic. That had nothing to do with me as a head coach. It's what they came here from wonderful families that, that taught them how to work hard and sacrifice and to be a great teammate. And uh, now we're just living through all the, the fruits of their labor and the wonderful way that they were raised. So it's an honor for me to be their coach. No cabbage patch tonight? No, we taught them. We, we did some dancing. I mean, we, we, every week we're going to do it. So I, I, I'm no, no dancing on the field, which is what I like, right? So uh, we kept it to the sidelines. I was really pleased with the guys, but we're going to have fun. If we can keep, keep the, the, this thing rolling, we can dance all we want. Hey, to Isaac Rex's credit, he said he was just trying to follow his coach's <laughs> counsel. No, the counsel was it's just only for the sideline. <laughs> so I, I reminded the players, hey, we might have some guys getting their first touchdown, you know, making their first big time plays. And so just to remind everyone that you hand the ball to the ref and high five your, your teammates, not the other way around, <laughs> and you don't dance. So, But, you know, we'll, we'll keep learning. This, we still have some young guys. I mean, you're talking about a, a, a young guy that, that's making plays and, and they, they're still learning. We all, we all are, so we're trying to get better. Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the third straight window open the season, and uh, enjoy the weekend off. We'll see you back here on the, a week from tomorrow. Yeah, looking forward to the time off and watching conference, and uh, just want all the fans to know we love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Go Cougs.